How's it going, YouTube? And people watching this live on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash jjor64. Today is March 18th, 2023. And today we're going to be playing some Pokemon trading card game online. So it has been over one year since the last time I have played this on video. And I think the last time since I just played this. So it's been over a year. So the newest set when I last played was Fusion Strike and Mew VMAX was dominating everywhere. And it seems like since the last time I played, uh, things have changed. So the reason we're playing this tonight is because I wanted to play this at least one more time before, if you saw it there on screen, before everybody is forced to go to Pokemon Trading Card Game live. So for people that don't know, the trading card game online, the version we're playing tonight, this version is no longer being updated. And Scarlet and Violet base set, which is out at the end of this month, is not coming to online. So this is pretty much the last hurrah for online before everybody has to go to live. So I figured it'd be kind of fun to play online at least one more time for good old times and whatnot, right? So, like I said, I haven't played this game since Fusion Strike, which is over a year ago. So the decks we're going to use tonight are probably going to be outdated and not good by the current meta. So the decks we'll play tonight, I'll show here. Okay. Like I said, the decks I have, they're not... At the time, they weren't too bad. So we have a Blissey V deck. And a Zosh, it's a very basic Zashian Zamazenta V deck. I'll show them off real quick. So we'll probably hop between the two. We might make a new deck. I don't know. So this is just a very, very basic deck. Z Zashian V and Zamazenta V. Another reason why I wanted to uh, use this so I can use this deck tonight. I believe these three Pokemon... Zashian V, Crobat V, and Zamazenta V, they are all getting rotated out of rotation, which is next month, I believe. So we can no longer use this in standard format. So that's why I kind of wanted to play tonight, too, just so I can use this deck one last time. Now, I believe Blissey V here, I, I think, is not getting rotated, so I guess, in theory, I could probably still use this after rotation. Uh... Yeah, so and then Blissey V, for people that don't know, you, you only play Blissey V and you just make it a ginormous tank. Like I said, there's probably an outdated deck, but we're just going to play these for fun. And yeah, let's play some games. I'm probably not going to do very well. Like I say, I've, it's been over a year since I've played, but we'll play for fun. All right, we got somebody. And while we're playing tonight, oh yeah, that's where I got beat up tonight. While we're playing tonight, I got some Pokemon music playing in the background. So I think I always want to go first with this deck, right? Where he's in the Zashian deck right now. Like I said, it's been over a year, so I'm definitely going to probably not play Fantastic. I'm going to definitely need a refresher. So, but yeah, I've been kind of wanting to play the, the card game again. And I figured we might as well play online at least one last time before uh, everything will not happens with live right so i know a lot of people so this is a lugia v star deck right i guess we just touch this here and then i just intrepid sword right okay when well, we start swinging next turn already which is very nice so to my knowledge like nobody uses zashin v anymore i know i think what lugia v star i believe is like the best deck in the format to my knowledge i've been slowly slowly i've been uh Kind of paying attention to the meta and whatnot. Like I said, we're probably not going to play very well, but we're just having some fun. Okay, search your deck for two cards and discard them and shuffle your deck. That could maybe... Oh, yeah, that's right. So I do have boss. Oh, we're definitely killing this thing. This is like uh, Luminium V, I believe. It's like uh, Tapu Lele GX for people I played during the Sun of Moon era. I think it's literally the same effect. Well, they already they already played a uh, supporter this turn. I'm killing this thing. Okay, well, uh, we have uh, I'm bossing this, and I'm just gonna kill it. Yeah, we're gonna boss this and just kill it. I have no other Pokemon. Uh, Brave Blade. 
Oh, wait. Uh, no, we don't need energy, right? Yeah. I can't believe I don't have any other Pokemon right now. Okay, there's another one. So, like I said, since this deck is kind of outdated, so I'm a Zenta V for probably against most decks. It's probably not going to be useful because it's effect only works on v max not v star if it also worked on v star if they somehow made an updated version Arnie. That's nice. all right that's fun playing this again though like I said, it's been a year it's been quite some time i believe that's getting rotated out i think anything with the d you guys can see my mouse right Yes, anything with the D right here, that is getting rotated out to my, I think that's how it works. There's another Lugia B. Okay, they play powerful. Okay, we definitely want Zamazenta. So I think I'm gonna play Zam, okay, so uh, fudge. I could play Crushing Hammer. I, I can't attack because of Bright Blade. And that means Lugia V-Star, which unfortunately I cannot get rid of. I still think I should probably play this or another Zashi and V. I think what I would like to do now is Crushing Hammer here. Try to get rid of this. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to research. Which we get. Probably research. I don't think I even want to play this. We're going to lose a Switch, which is Man, I wish I could boss. I can't boss. So what I could do is play Zamazenta, but I think we just keep this in the field. Right? I think I'm just going to research here. We're going to lose a switch. We got Crystal Caves. We're not going to play right now. It's pointless. Okay. So, okay. Damn, if this Luminium V wasn't here, because I could do Escape Rope now, and then they're forced to... I think I do that, right? I think what I do is I play Zazashi and V. I attach an energy. I play Escape Rope. They're probably going to pick this, but then I get Swing. We're doing pretty good right now. So I think I'm going to Escape Rope now. They pick first, I believe. They're, they're going to pick Luminium V. I can then pick this Zashi and use a Switch and then Swing. Well, we're down the two prizes already, so not too bad for my first game after, like, over a year. Okay, give me a boss. Cape of Toughness is nice. Right? But then they bring Lugia V-Star here. I guess they can get that. And then they use their uh, V-Star ability. Turn two Pokemon. Two, uh, is it two colorless Pokemon from the discard pile? But they always bring about Archeops, right? They had the two Archeops, yeah. So once they're determined, search your deck for up to two special energies attached to one of your Pokemon. So that's an insane combo. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, that's literally on the dot for me. Yep. So, uh, Zashian is going to be dead. Damn, we almost won that. We have Cape of Toughness here. Okay, what's this from the... From your deck? Okay. And yeah, they just get a bunch of powerful in it. We did discard one of them. Damn. Unfortunately, I'm an energy short on this. Yeah, because then they attack. Yeah, there's this 200. Discard it. Uh, stadium in. Fortunately, that one shots me. And they even have this, and then they attach here. Okay. Oh, and choice belt. Oh, it's active B. Oh, geez. This guy just gonna murder me. How much damage does this do? 310 damage. I think we just lose now. I need metal saucer. Okay, please draw a Pokemon. Oh, we can do this. But that just goes to the bottom of the deck. 
Well, we have to play Cape of Toughness, right? Wow, I, I just lose. This could stall slightly. Well, we could do this. Don't get it. I could do Wave of Fans on this, and then they're forced to get this energy again. As long as this card is attached to his Pokemon, Pokemon V take, take 30 less damage from opponents. Yeah, I think we just lose. <sighs> For some reason, they can misplay. I think that's a GG, though. Because I can't one-shot this. I have to do two hits on it. Wow, that, man, there's a really crappy hand, isn't it? So I could play this, but this is pointless, right? I think we just concede. Well, it's not over until it's over. Something weird could potentially happen, but I think it's basically GG. Uh, yeah, and I just intrepid sword. I got no energy. Wow. Damn, that's GG. I would have got at least a one energy, but like I said, they will probably just use the ability. So, okay, I was gonna see if they could potentially misclick. Well, we almost won though. It seems like if I want to beat Lugia B Star decks, I just have to play hyper aggressive, which I was able to for like a bit, and then unfortunately just died. I wonder if I should have played that Zombie Zenta earlier on my bench. Probably should have. That could abide me a little bit of time, but probably not much. Yeah, the next attach. Damn, that sucks. I got no energies from the Intrepid Sword. What is this, dude? This is just kill me. Back to Pokemon is just knocked out. Damn, but it's like three. Okay. Damn. Easy though. Not bad for my first game. Back. Yo, let's go. Super Tempest. Well, I guess we'll play. Oh, we'll, we'll do a couple games of this and then we'll do the Blissy Deep. I could probably still rock this Zacian deck and then maybe swap Zamazenta out for something else, but I don't know what I would use. I would have to actually do some research and whatnot. But Zacian's getting rotated out anyways. This Zacian. There's some other Zacians that are not getting rotated out, but the Intrepid Sword Zacian is, sadly. Now I'm going to assume this is probably the best one. There is a Zacian V-Star card, which I can maybe look into. Okie dokie. Well, I guess I could, in theory, still use Zacian in uh, expanded format, but there's probably way better decks in expanded to use. Got my amazing b of coin. I lost the coin. Damn, I always went. Oh, I go first. Okay, that's fine. Give me at least a Zashian. All right, we're in there. That's all. Uh, okay. They had the black and white like beta sleeves, so I actually have these sleeves. If you were in the beta for the trading card game online. Uh, okay, I have no idea what kind of deck this is. I'm new to the game. Uh, I think I might just do Cape of Toughness and then just. Or do I want to play Cape? So I'm on an air balloon. Uh, I think I literally can't really do shit. I'm just going to Trumpet Sword. Oh, my God. We only got one. Son of a butt. Oh, we are not drawing. I think I have 12 steel energies in this deck. <laughs> We're getting nothing. That's unfortunate. Oh, I just lose because of Mil Tank. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon. Well, I guess in theory, we could swing around Mil Tank. <laughs> but sadly, I can't do anything against the Mil Tank. <laughs> like I said, I got to probably update this deck. I guess we could look. That's I still feel like the Zamazenta B Max. Probably not that great. I guess we could try editing this deck and see what I have. Let's see what I could potentially use. Let's do once during your turn, you may attach a psychic energy card from discard pound to one of your Lunatone. Let's card one hand and draw three cards. Attack does 30 more damage for your psychic energy attached to this Pokemon. I'm gonna do crushing hammer. So we're definitely gonna have to be swinging around. Dude, look at this hand. This hand is hot garbage. Oh, and uh, path to the peak, which we got crystal. I'm gonna touch this. 
this is from the discard pile. Damn. So crushing hammer is almost kind of not great. Is it? I think we're gonna play crystal caves and then uh, trip it again. I guess I can Marnie, which I might. But I really do not want to research. I think I'm gonna do crystal cave. Okay, well, there's a psychic energy, or not psychic steel energy. So we attach and then we get a trip it again. I do have this, but do I want to play it though? Not really, not this turn. Okay, I'll just trip it again. No steel energies. Man. I'm not getting lucky, are we? All right. Well, we'll definitely plan a Zashi and V next turn. So I guess right now we can still do okay. They don't know that I can't get rid of Mil Tank, thankfully. Thankfully, they don't know that. Put your deck for Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Okay, kid. Oh, I could look. Maybe after this, we'll just kind of look and see what I have. So I'm going to assume this is just a Lunatone deck. But man, having the Soul Rock, though, is definitely a good combo for the Lunatone. Well, I guess that's the point of these cards, right? They combo together. I guess we can, because you can, yeah, you so say you can use that ability on the bench. Okay. So definitely, yeah, so what, next turn we'll play Zashi. Yeah, I really need a steal. I might Marnie again. We'll play Zashi for sure. What's this card do? This is like Psychic, right? Whenever Pokemon attaches an energy that is not a Psychic. Take two extra damage. Hit 120. Yeah. Fuck. I really want to swing this turn. Oh, we're definitely playing this. I'm going to Marnie. Please give me a Steel Energy. I could have researched, but... Okay, we actually got an Energy. Sadly, this does nothing in this deck. I'm going to play this. We're going to swing here. Air Balloon, I don't think we want. I don't think we want to play Crowbat this turn, do we? Do I have a reason to play Crowbat? Not really, right? I think we're just going to Brave Blade. Yeah, so this is a one prize deck, which is kind of unfortunate for me. So it makes it a lot harder for me to win. All right, I finally get some energies. I'm going to start finally juicing this thing. Yeah, I, I think they might have figured out that I don't have any other. Yeah, so I need something for Mill Tank. I can boss. We have three bosses. That won't be enough, will it? Half yeah, how many cards? 34. Guess in theory, they could deck out before me. <laughs> okay, so this could be what? Five, four, three, two. Let's just see how long it takes him to realize that I don't have any non V Pokemon in this deck. That's funny. Oh, that's hilarious. This deck is terrible. Well, let's go anyways. I don't know what kind of deck I want to make. I've always wanted to try Calyrex Ice Rider, but I don't know how good it is. It might be with the new uh, what, Bax Caliber. 
where it's similar to a Deluge, the old Blastoise card. So that could be kind of interesting. I'll just have to look around. Switch your active Pokemon. Well, I don't have a uh, switch card, do I? We have Crystal Caves, which we could play, and I can heal. I can't swing this turn, unfortunately. So what I could do is play this. I could attach an air balloon to this. I want to tr I want to see if I can p potentially swing. So I might do air balloon here and then crowbat, and see if we can get a switch card. We have none in the discard pile. I have four switches. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna crowbat first here. No switches. We get a saucer. Well, I could. Research, but do I want to? Though? So I'm gonna knock this. Well, I can't knock it out. It's knock me out this next turn. I'm gonna look. Budget. There's a switch. Zombazentos. So what I could do here is I could switch, then retreat, and then we could attack. Get rid of this. So we'll switch here and retreat. I don't think there's anything else I want to do here, really. I think I'm just going to attack. Yeah. All right. They haven't figured out I don't have non V Pokemon yet. So. But they're probably going to figure out eventually. So I should see what cards I have in the back, in the deck. But in theory, oh, they just gave me the win. <laughs> I was going to say, well, in theory, I could just wait and deck them out, right? Yo, let's go. All right, what do we get? Yo, we got a tournament ticket. Let's go. GG gamers. Yo, let's go. I guess in theory, we just want cards, right? Because none of these points will transfer to uh, live, right? That, that's a whole different currency. Well, we could buy a Pokemon pack. Let's go shopping. Um. Well, I guess we might just do Silver Tempest for fun, right? Sure, why not? Let's see if we can get a Lugia B or B Star. Why not? Let's see what we get. Oh, let's, let's open up. Silver Tempest. I never bought any Silver Tempest cards, IRL. I was going to say, all new to me. All right, give me something good. Moongus. During your opponent's turn, if this Pokemon is discarded from your hand by an effect of an attack or ability from your opponent's Pokemon, or by an effect of your opponent's item or support cards, <gasps> discard your opponent's hand. That sounds really hard to trigger, though. It's very, it's very specific. It has to be discarded. Which there's not a lot of cards that do that, right? That seems kind of hard. What, what's this? Look, you find it's your deck for item card reveal it and put it into your hand. Okay. I see a draw three cards, blah, blah. Okay, what's this one? Your opponent's Pokemon has used their V-Star power during this game. This attack does 100 more damage. Ooh, that's, that seems okay. It doesn't seem terrible. Seems all right. All right, well. Yeah, so we're gonna play some more games. I'm gonna look and see what I can add to my deck for uh, Mill Tank. And then we'll play some more games. All right, so uh, I really didn't find any answers to <laughs> a Mill Tank, but I did add a new, another escape route. We got rid of one of my Zamazentas because I had three. So now we're only rocking two. And then I have another escape rope now. Well, that's an awful all. Look at this terrible hand we got. Oh, my God. This is awful. <laughs> this is so bad. Look at this garbage. I literally just have to pass my turn. 
This is such a terrible hand. Look at this crap. It's a Reggie deck. I have to pass. Oh my, that's such a bad hand. Holy crap, that is terrible. <laughs> that is so bad. We are off to an awful start. I might have to crow back. <laughs> oh God. So, I always forget how this works. You need, like, all the different Reggies I arrive for something. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Late night Pokemon here. Playing out the crack acid dome, but that's what I do best. I'm having fun, though. It's fun. I do the Pokemon TCG. I really should play the TCG more. What's this do? Oh, you may attach up three energy for your discard to one. Dude, look at this fucking hand. It's so bad. I can't even crowbat either. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrible. This is awful. I can't do anything. <laughs> what is this hand? Look at this shit. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so bad. I still have no idea what kind of deck I have. I either think Zombies entered something. That is so bad. <laughs> This, this is so terrible. I might just have to concede. It's like, I'm, I'm not drawing anything. Reggie Rock, Ice, and Steel. Like, okay, so you need all the Reggies out. Play Marnie or something, please. <laughs> that's not Marnie, though. Oh, yeah, that's getting rotated out, right? Search your deck for a basic Pokemon. Put it on your bench. Oh, to one of your po Oh, so you can touch any. I think we're just gonna four. I have to literally draw something right now. I just lose. <laughs> Come on, Zashian. Oh my fuck. We gotta. I have to play the research. This is fucking terrible. I have no options. I might just play Crowbat here just in case I get don't get fucked over. I literally have to play this, dude. At least we got research there, dude. That hand was so dead. Okay, we finally got a fucking. Thank God we got this. I guess we got Metal Saucer here. On the U. We're going to play Crystal Cave, so we get Intrepid Sword, right? I guess we could play Crushing, but that's kind of not worth it, right? Three energy from your discard pile into one of your Pokemon. So it's kind of... Yeah. I need to get rid of this, right? I think we're going to play Crystal Cave. Are we just going to Intrepid Sword? Dude, no energy. Dude, we are getting the worst luck. Okay, at least we got Fan of Waves. That will play next turn. We'll probably play it on one of the Aura Energies, right? Oh my god, dude. Our hand is so bad. How This is awful. Okay, at least they played Marnie. We'll take that. <laughs> Why did he play that last turn? <laughs> okay, at least we get something. Okay, we got another Crystal Cave. We actually got an energy. I'm so tempted to play research just to see if I can get a uh, a switch. Or an escape rope or something. Because I'll probably play Crystal Cave. And then I'm going to research probably. Well, attach energy and then research. Yeah, they switch to this. And then they're just going to use Reggie, right? So Reggie Gigas is the one we is the big threat, right? Okay. That just spread damage, okay. Probably, I guess. I think I do Crobat here, because I really want Metal Saucer, right? So I think we actually do Crobat here. That's not a Metal Saucer, but we did get a switch. This is what, just, just three energies. We play this. I think we play Crystal Cave. Then I'm going to research. I would love to, Man, I don't really want to saucer this turn. I want to research. I guess we could play this. There's no reason not to, right? If I'm just going to research. Fuck it. Okay. 
There's a sauce. All right, perfect. But I'm gonna heal here. But then I could swing. But that means they have to have an uh, lucky, right? To keep going. Yeah, I think we we just do this right. Now I wish I had my an air balloon right now, but right now I don't. I can do this. And play another Zashian. And then switch into this. And then swing. I would love to get. Yeah, this is gonna be hard, isn't it? There's an escaper up. Okay, that's something. Okay, how many switches do I have? I have three of them in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that means they need a lucky right now to use abilities. Marnie. Give me a switch and a boss's orders. And an air balloon, too. So we want to get rid of the Gigas, right? There's boss's orders. Okay. They got the Alecky, so that means they can use the effect now. Okay. Okay, well, we have boss. We're healing. I guess, like, fudge. I wish I can't swing this turn, though. I could play Crushing Hammer on the energy that's on the Gigas, right? There's no reason to do it under Reggie Eyes, because he's just going to bring it back out. So I think what I might do is just do Crushing Hammer on the Gigas. Cause, Cause it's just gonna use the effect on the Reggie Ice, right? But he has no energy here in the discard pile. Up to three, so I, I think I'm just gonna do that, right? Just to slightly stall a bit. Dang, I think what I'm going to, I don't want to play this yet. We can play that next turn. So I think we're just going to Intrepid Sword on this Azashi and then and go from there. I think that's what we're going to do. I can't escape. I, I want to keep boss, right? So I'm just going to Intrepid here and call it a turn. Got one and we got a saucer and an air balloon. Okay, that's fantastic. I actually got some good shit in there. Saucer next turn. I, I want to get rid of Gigas, right? They bring Reggie Steel. But I guess they could just get free retreats all day, right? Because of uh, Gigas' ability. I'd like to get rid of Gigas if we can, right? Ordinary Rod. Steel and a lucky. I'm gonna assume they probably have another Gigas in their hand right now. Top card, you may put that card in your hand. If not, discard the card draw. Search. Okay. They had a boss in their hand. Choose. Another trekking shoes. It's still not looking great. They have to have another Gigas, right? I still think we'll go after Gigas, though. I like the idea of the Reggie deck, though. It's pretty cool. It's a neat. It's gonna attack. What's that attack do? My fucking dead. We're not dead. What's this do? That attack does 50 less for each... Uh, star in the opponent's active Pokemon to retreat cost. Okay. Okay, well, we Crystal Caves. We Saucer. Um, and then I'm gonna, I think we just, because I don't think we need an air balloon yet, do we? So, I'd like if I can put a cape on this, right? Uh, three switches in here. I think I'm just gonna boss this. So they'll bring this out. It'll probably kill me here, right? I can swing at this. 
Which I guess probably was what we should do, right? I think they have another Reggie steal. I'm just gonna go after that, I guess. I don't think this is the play. This is probably not a good play, but this is what I'm gonna do. I think we just swing. I don't need anything else here, right? Because they're just gonna bring this out and attack, anyways. Which steals do I have? I only have one in the discard pile right now. So a lot of them are still in the deck. Okay, yeah, this is say they probably had another one. Yeah, this deck is kind of hard to keep up with. Then this will attack. Do 120 damage. Yeah, so we're dead here. So I'll probably put Zashian in play. Cross my fingers that we get... steel energy because now they just power this up yeah this is not looking good is it well we're probably gonna i could quick ball for what though i kind of just want to quick ball discard zamazenta and then don't bring anything And just Marnie here. Just so that's one last card in the deck that gets shuffled on the bottom. All right, we get some crushings. We got a steal. Okay, we're definitely gonna play this, right? I'm gonna play this. Is it, I want to play crushing. I want to play crushing. Well, we gotta do something, right? I guess I could quick ball into another Zashian. I don't think we will. <sighs> Raihan. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to play that. Damn, yeah, it's just too hard to keep up with this deck with my Zashian deck, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yep. Well, we're still alive for a bit. The Pokemon is a V. What what did it say? The defending Pokemon is a V Pokemon. It can't attack during your opponent's next turn. Oh, that sucks. So I definitely need a quick ball. Discard Raihon because we can't fucking use it. Zashian here, because how much does that do? That did 100 damage. That could kill me, so I have to retreat this turn. I guess I can this. But then they could probably just swap this in. 250. Uh, I still think... I have three saucers in here. So what I might do is just retreat into the Zashian here. I just can't keep up. I think we're going to play it safe because they could potentially swap in this and just kill me or boss. Or, I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is just do air balloon and swap into this. Retreat and then this is probably not the play but no. nothing phantom waves boss and another air balloon so that's not horrible but it could be way better oh, that's right and they had the belt too they yeah, I was going to say, they're just going to retreat or something anyway. So I think that probably was the best play, right? 120 damage. 
Ooh. What's up, gaming? What is this? This is the Pokemon trading card game. This is what this is. We're gonna lose. Um, was this the same game that had my really shitty hand? I think so. Oh, we get fan of waves on. We can boss. Seventy. Man of waves, I guess, on the colorless. I'm just gonna swing at this. Crystal caves. I'm just gonna air balloon here and swap into this Zashian, right? And just swing. Am I playing on PC or Switch? Ah, uh, PC. I always wonder why this game never came to Nintendo Switch. The Crystal Caves. That Crystal Caves last turn, I think I did. It was a PC game. It's been over one year since we've played this game. It's been one year. And this game is eventually going to shut down here in the near future, so that's why I decided I want to play at least one more time. We don't mind playing more. There's a Reggie Drago. Okay, so that means they can't really do this. Well, next turn we could boss. How many cards? You have seven. I have 16. But then I'm just going to scoop up something. Oh, what do you do? Once in your turn, it's an act. Oh, okay, we're swinging. Okay, we're doing a bit. We're kind of hanging in there. We crystal here. We boss the Gigas. And then I retreat into this and then swing, right? No, I can't. But then I guess I, I guess I could retreat here and then play escape rope, right? And then we can swing again. So I, I guess me playing the boss there is not worth it. I'm stupid. Yeah, why did I boss there? Wow, we actually almost came back in a Zamazenta V. Now they just attack me and kill me, right? I have 180. Oh my gosh. A Marnie. Well, we Crystal Caves. Wow, we actually came back and won that. Holy shit. How the hell did that happen? I did the most in that no, because that was the game that had the shitty hand, right? With Crobat and like five energies. How the hell did we come back and win that? What the fuck? Let's go. Oh yeah, we'll take the W there. How the hell did I win that? Huh? <laughs> yeah, that was that was the how how did I win? I got so lucky. Wow. Alright, well, uh, I guess I'll go again. The reason I like this deck is just because it's so simple. It's not very complicated. I just wanted to get a million Zashians on the bench and just keep spamming bravely. I guess I would like to go first. Uh, well, I guess we can get a uh, this here. So I'll put this here. Done. So I guess we can get a Zashian. I think I'm going to quick ball the metal energy. To Zashian. Play the Zashian. Then play the Metal Saucer on the Zashian. And then we Intrepid Sword. I got no energy. Come on, man. Man. That sucks. Uh, what is this? Oh, so this is a Sableye deck, right? Me whiffing on an energy there sucks. <laughs> Yeah, this is what lost zone, right? Top two cards in your deck, put one in your hand and put the other in the lost zone. Okay. This is funny, we're actually doing it and then boss on a boss. 
Okay, well, thankfully, my Pokemon are... Look at the top five cards of your deck. Put three of them in your hand, the rest in the Lost Zone. They need, what, ten cards in the Lost Zone, right, to attack? Holy shit. Thanks for the raid. I don't know. High Flare, you're UK. Sorry, I probably butchered that so bad. 13. We're just chilling, and I'm playing a very basic Azashium V deck before it gets rotated out. No. Oh. High flyer. Okay, I can't read. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the raid, dude. I am, I guess I would probably consider a rookie player to the Pokemon trading card game. I've been playing this for a handful of years, but I still feel like I'm still learning a lot in this game. Look at me using Zombies into V in the year 2023. <laughs> I'm a gamer. Oh, crap. Or more in the Lost Zone. Okay. Uh, this is very bad. Well, I guess we can Crystal Caves here and heal a little bit. I really wish I had another energy right now. All right, so we're healing that. Well, that that'll save me. At least to buy Pokemon are like big and bulky, which is a nice thing right now. Oh, ADP Zacian. I think everybody ran ADP Zacian. Do I want to play anything else here? Not really. I really don't want to discard a lot of these cards right now. I think I might just Intrepid Sword in my turn here. And I really hope I don't whiff on, on an energy. Okay, thank God we got two and another boss. I remember. ADZ. Yeah, made easy. So, I haven't played this game in a year. The last time I played this game, Fusion Strike was the newest set. So, so I'm basically using a very old, it's like a year old deck. Like Lugia and Kyogre. I think everybody's running Lugia, right? Hisuian Udra V. What does this do? Get your deck of punch, active Pokemon, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, so maybe this isn't a Sableye deck. It might be. Sableye is probably still in here, right? Something. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got the retro switch. All sorts of different stuff, right? Okay, what's this do? All special energy attached to Pokemon provide one colorless and have no other effect. Okay, well, that's fine, because I don't have any... Cape of toughness on this would be nice. Well, we're definitely gonna switch probably and swing. I, I guess it also could just kill a Gudra this turn right here, right? So what I might do, I might just switch here and just swing at this and kill it. Put a cape on here. I think that's what I'd like to do. Put this here. Cause no, there's no reason to escape rope because they're just going to bring Comfy out, right? I think I'm just going to switch and just boss those. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because this is going to keep swinging anyway, so then we can swing at that next turn, right? That's probably not the best play, but eh, whatever. Yeah, hey, what's up, Blue Speed? Steel and another Cape of Toughness. Let's go. Yo, th yeah, thanks for the raid, dude. Yeah, so for people that are joining me, uh, I actually play Pokemon VGC way more than the TCG. So I actually do like playing VGC. I do like that. I'm, a, I'm pretty decent at that. I'm okay. I'm definitely a lot better at the video game than the trading card game. I still feel like I need to learn a lot in the trading card game. But I would like to get better, though. Maybe once the Sun and Moon base, or not Sun and Moon. <laughs> what year is this? Uh, Scarlet and Violet base set. Maybe I'll play a little more. Oh, yeah, the rares. Yeah, I like BGC a lot. I like the game. Well, I could do an escape rope and then we could switch. Because what? Hmm. I could escape rope, switch, but then we're just going to kill Comfy, right? Because right now, this is the thing that's really hurting me. I could just do a double switch. But then that means I'd have three in the discard pile, which kind of sucks. All 
I would love to have. Let's attack no weakness. During your turn, you may heal all damage on that. Oh, shit. Fudge. I might do double switch. Well, I could do a switch and then escape rope, but I think we're just going to do double switch. No, that wasn't the play. Eh. No. I really want another fucking card, though. I might actually... Because I really want another Zacian. I really do. That's... Man, but then I have Raihan, which would be kind of nice. Yeah, screw it. Okay, there's the other Zashi and I run there. What we Crouching Hammer! Yo, let's go. Alright, we can swing here. Possibly never really tried to own a competitive team. Yeah, it could be. I think getting a competitive team in uh, Scarlet and Violet is a lot harder compared to Sword and Shield. That's just me, though. I think Sword and Shield is uh, significantly easier. Mainly because of EV training. If you want to EV train in Scarlet and Violet, you really just have to do it the old school way. And I think nobody likes doing it the old school way. Okay. It sucks to be you. I have to. Thankfully, Crushing Hammer is coming back. I seen that got reprinted. I'm a Crushing Hammer fan. I love Crushing Hammer. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've always loved just rocking four. Even though that's probably not the best strategy. Guy's a big giant. What's Mirror Gate? You can only set more cards, search your deck for up to two basic energy and then attach them. They only brought, they only attached one though. Of different types. Okay. Oh, and showdown. Yeah, I've never really messed with Showdown that much. I've just always stuck to the game. My best success in Scarlet and Violet for VGC is just like a basic all-around team with screen support, like with Grimmsnarl. Okay, so they're going to attack. Well, we can... I can escape rope. Well, we're definitely going to play Crushing, right? Because we want to slow this thing down as much as possible, I feel like. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 80 less damage. I think I'm just going to crush. None. Crush. None. Um. Because I can... I get an escape rope here. Because they'll probably escape rope into this, though, right? So we might lose Zashi in this turn. I think I want to play this other Zombies then, too. I was going to say, because I can escape rope into this, and then I can air balloon back into this. But that means they're probably just going to bring Comfy out. Which is unfortunate. I get quick ball into a crowbat, potentially. I'm gonna try that. Get rid of wave and crowbat here, I think. I'm gonna crowbat. Little scrapper. I always forget I have this in this deck. Well, I'm gonna start charging this up. <sighs> yeah, I think we're just gonna have to take the L here, right? So like, in theory, I could technically, but then I'm just going to knock this out. And then this will just kill me. So I might just take the L. How many metal saucers? I only have one saucer in the discard pile. So I might just Intrepid Sword this turn. Because like I said, in theory, I could attack, but I'm going to assume they're going to bring Comfy out if I escape rope. I'd rather have not do that. So I think I'm just going to take the L on this here now. And just intrepid here. We got one. Thank you for strategizing, competitive. 
Yeah, I've never actually gone to tournaments. I don't think I would ever go to tournaments. Yeah, it could be pretty stressful, though. I was actually going to think about playing Scarlet and Violet tonight, but I wanted to play uh, TCG online before it gets phased out. I'll take... Oh, what's Roxanne do? I always forget that as two. Well, we got a metal energy. And we got a crushing hammer. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're gonna take the LA, right? So I guess okay, so at least we could swing this turn and get rid of this stupid crammer ant, right? So I think we're just gonna bring this, like, because I could swing. And then we're gonna discard. Probably doesn't really matter. Oh, I got Marnie here. Probably should, right? I'm gonna crushing hammer. I guess probably the steel energy. I'll get it. Don't get it, no luck. Patch this. Then Marnie. We get a saucer here. We get crystal caves. We're gonna play that and start healing this, I guess. I guess I would like to quick ball. Discard. And I get a saucer, but I'd I think we might actually just get rid of crystal caves. I would like to keep the escape rope. And play this. We could saucer. This. Just tag. All right, at least we got rid of this. But that means this is coming out now. It's going to do 200 damage. Research. Okay, that just does what? And then they take 80 less. Well, I can't one-shot it anyways. Okay. So what I could do here is play this energy here. I could play escape rope and stall our turn. I could also research. I also would like to attack this, but I really can't. Well, we're attached to this. Like I said, I might escape rope and then just intrepid this turn. I mean, I'd like to attack this, though. But then they're just going to heal, too, so I basically have to hit this thing, what, three times if I want to kill it. I think I'm going to escape rope. With this. I guess in theory, I could just do the... Whatever, just do this. I don't think I want to research this turn. I think I just want to intrepid this turn here. Nothing. Get another saucer, though. Oh, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Watching me be terrible at this game. <laughs> We're surprisingly doing okay. This is only, what, my fourth game tonight? And I've actually won, what, we've won two of three games tonight? Unfortunately, they got their energy. They might win. Yeah, trying to stop this is going to be a pain in the ass. Then they take eight. Yeah, this is going to be tough. I didn't even get... Well, we're going to play Crystal Cave. This turn, we're fucking playing Crystal Cave. A little bit. So I could switch here and then play a saucer on this and then swing. I think. Good the research but I don't want to duck myself out and then we don't have a Raihan here I think we're just gonna switch here Get saucer on do this we attack so what's Raihan do again attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon and then if I do search my deck for a card okay well I think we're gonna swing here 80 less damage, though, right? 150. That's still 150, though. But that means they're pro they have to V-Star this turn, right? right? Or I just win the game. Oh, that's right. They could take advantage of Crystal Cave. That's right. I forgot this also works on Dragon. But yeah, I so said they're going to have to heal anyways. They should bring this out. So either way, they're going to heal anyway, so. 
I have to bring... I can't win. I think it's just GG, right? Because I swing here, I can't one-shot it. And they just swing and kill me here. I think it's just GG. Yeah, I think it's just GG. I do have another Zosh. We can potentially power up another Zoshian, which is right here. There's somehow I could stall just so I can have potentially two Zashians out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we're going to play Raihan, I think, here this turn. Patch it to this. And then probably a Metal Saucer, right? Then we intrepid with this. Uh, I guess I. Fuck. I think I have just some reason that I have crushing hammer. Because then, oh, they boss. That's GG. Good ship. Yep, nothing I do about that. Rip. We had a chance, because then I could have attacked with this, took a hit, and then I could have retreated and then attacked, but they had boss, so we almost won. We almost came back. GG. Well, should we try, should we finally try my dumb Blissey V deck that I made? I think we'll finally try this. I'm having fun with the Zashian deck, though. I do like the Zashian deck. All right. <laughs> should we try Screw it. Let's try the Blissey V deck. All right. Thanks for watching, buddy. It's like four in the morning here where I live. I'm a night owl. I'm having fun, though. Hopefully, we'll get an opponent here very shortly. Use my dumb Blissey V. So Blissey V is the only Pokemon in this entire deck, and I have four of them. That's it. <laughs> so fingers crossed, no mill tank. <laughs> or I lose. <laughs> you lost the coin flip. Rip. I guess in theory, I probably want to go for second. I always forget with this deck if I want to go first or second. All right. All right, let's see how many mulligans it takes me. I only have four Blissey B, and that is it. All right, so we didn't get it here. Let's see how many mulligans it's going to take. That's the one bad thing about this deck is I'm going to let them get, like, a million mulligans. Grimmsnarl? Grimmsnarl is going to... I have no idea what this deck is. Find out. All right, let's see. How many mulligans does it take me to get a blissey? How many mulligans? <laughs> Six. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> That's all right. We only need one. So I guess in theory, I do want to uh, go suck it, right? All right. That's right. I got these cool sleeves. Mulligan for six cards? Yep. <laughs> I have no idea what kind of deck this is. No idea. Well, I guess we can theory start attacking. Uh, we can crushing hammer. Do I want a crushing hammer though? Let's just do again. Draw three cards. If you do three cards this way, discard up the three cards. I kind of want to play at least a lucky energy first, and then we play this right. We got no other energies. Are you effing serious? Are you serious? We got no energies in that entire thing there. Well, I think we'll just do boss. Fan and probably just the other fan. I need to keep all my heals. That's insane. We got no energies there. Oh, up to three cards. I guess I don't have to discard anything, do I? I've discarded I have to discard at least a one card. 
I guess just probably a fan of waves then. How did that get no energies there? <laughs> oh my gosh, we're getting some like terrible luck tonight. Well, I guess in theory we could play this just to stall. But we got it. All right, let's go. Boy, 40 damage. <laughs> How did I get no energy there? Flip a coin, I've had this does 30 more damage. So it's like a single strike Grimmsnarl deck. I have no idea what the Grimmsnarl does. If, if you have two or fewer or less, it does what? Oh, that's a cool rare and candy. I think it's based on you. If you have two or fewer bench Pokemon on this tag, it does 140 da more damage. Holy shit. Uh, okay, we got Capture Energy, which I guess we should probably play this and get another Blissey now, right? Oh, and it's dark type. Okay, uh. Well, I guess we're just gonna heal here, right? Okay. Lucky buys pop. Come on, give me, keep getting the heads. Okay. Um. Damn, we're getting no energies right now, which is unfortunate. Well, I guess we're gonna attack. Let's go. This is kind of cool, though. Does fewer two do 100, 240 damage? Oh, I should probably play another pop. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Rip. I should learn how to read the card. <laughs> uh, I'm dead if they have another energy. Two or fewer benched. Rip. I'm dead, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> All right, checking out the rest. Oh, they Marnie. That's that's perfectly, I think, okay. 240 damage. Fuck. I messed up. I I should play the other pop. I would have survived. What am I doing? Well, at least we're gonna draw a card. At least we're gonna attack and not kill this thing, right? Uh, well, I guess we'll probably... This is for supporter, right? I might just boss to stall so we can get some more energies. Well, just so we can stall a turn, right? Because we're only going to deal with 40 damage. This will knock it out. So I think we're going to attach this. Then I'm going to play a boss. Oh, I guess we should probably go after this, right? Because of its ability, right? That'll get it. Should I go after this? Probably this, right? Okay. Okay, now we get a bunch of energies. Well, this is all I got. <laughs> hey, we're getting terrible luck with the energy draws right now. Blissey. Blissey V is not getting rotated, so I think I can still use this deck after rotation. Oh, that don't work. All right, where's my cape of time? Oh, I'm just fucking dead. Oh my god. Rip. <laughs> there's, there's some more energies. Son of a bitch. That's funny. I definitely misplayed that. I could have survived another turn by messed up. Rip. All right, here we go. Mew V Max. Dang it. I wish I was running my Zashian deck. My Zashian deck actually does pretty good against it. Uh, that's... Okay, so I actually want to go second. Go first? No, but this might be Mew, right? Yeah, whatever. I always forget if you want to go first against Mew or not. Okay, at least we got Blissey right away. We got Path to the Peak, which we're definitely going to be playing. Okay, so play this. What's this one do again? You can play this card only if you discard two other cards from your hand. Draw a card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Oh my god, are you serious? They got a heads. They're probably gonna get what VIP battle pass, right? Yep. Battle VIP pass. Rip a Rooney. Well, thank god I have this, right? Yeah, isn't this card like stupidly good? 
Set your deck for what card? During your turn, you may set your deck for a card and put it into your hand. Yeah, that card seems pretty stupid, isn't it? This Pokemon B. Yeah. Uh, well, we're definitely playing Path. Uh, we're gonna play this. I think I probably we're gonna have to discard these two, aren't we? Uh. I guess probably playing this was not a great idea, is it? I'm just gonna research. No energy. How are we getting such terrible luck with drawing no energy? This is insane. Well, we can attack 40 damage, let's go. How am I getting no energy, man? <laughs> We're just getting some insane luck. Some terrible. I guess what I could have done is Zinnian's Resolve. But now looking at my hand that I drew, I drew nothing. Yeah, so let's just search for any car. So they're probably searching for a stadium, right? It's not more energy. Let's tag those. So we're definitely healing. Oh my gosh. I guess, no, we're gonna play Alistair for sure this turn. And we have to play this too, right? Yep. Cape of Toughness on this, I think would be pointless right now, right? So we play this, play Cape on this. All right, here we go. How many heads can I get? None. Alistair. Well, I can heal, but that doesn't really matter, right? We're getting the worst draws, dude. How are we getting such insane, terrible draws? Heal 80 damage. That did a lot. How much does Techno Blast do? 210 damage. Yeah, I just can't heal enough, can I? I kinda just wanna get rid of these. I think I'm just gonna take the L on this Blissey here. <laughs> How am I getting no energies? I have so many in the deck. We're just getting terrible luck, man. I'm gonna have to go back to my Zashian deck. Because my Zajian deck actually does all right, because I have Zama Zenta V. So. Ultra Ball. Oh, beauty back. Yeah. That research. Oh, yeah, this thing has no retreat cost. God, that's so stupid. <laughs> Why did they let me and VMAX have no retreat? That's so dumb, dude. All right, please give me something off the top of my draw. Please give me like powerful energy or something stupid. There's like Pokemon. There's like that V guard energy. I should run that. Dude, I have to play this though, right? I just researched. Where are my energies? Uh, I'm going to pull. Yeah, I'm just fucking drawing nothing, man. We're, tonight's definitely not Blissey Night. It's not Blissey Night. But yeah, there's that, what, that V-Guard energy? That probably would work pretty good now, right? I don't think I have that. I don't know if Pike that comes in. All right. I want the claim flip. We'll go second. I think we want to go second, because we want to attack immediately. Man, if I had a Blissey here, I would have loved this hand. I mean, to Alistair, we got to discard three cards here. Sadly, no bless you. All right. What garbage are you going to give me now? Okay. No Alistair. Just one bless you. What do you do again? Discard a special energy card from one of your opponent's Pokemon and discard a stadium in play. All right, we got a loss of Battle VIP pass. Yay.
Oh, shit. Humpback. Another battle VIP pass. Huh, Zashi and B. Huh. Interesting. They probably just have it. Huh, that's interesting. Not expecting this. This card ain't good. They're just drawing like mad right now. I'm gonna try it, sword. That's funny. All right, come on, gamers. Please give me something good. I'm gonna play this. I guess what I should do first is Poke Gear, right? Actually, did get an Alistair. Things do I want Alistair or do I want research? I want to try the Alistair here. I think I want to attach. You guys know we don't attach, right? We play this first. Okay, discard up the three cards. So probably this. And then, oh, then I guess. I guess we just need one, because I'm going to play the powerful energy this turn. I might just keep the rest of my hand. Now we play path. And then powerful energy. Blissful blast. And get the lucky energy. Okay, so we're doing what? 10, 40... Yeah, 70 right now. Ooh. I'm gonna, does, uh, this is abilities, because V-Star is not an ability, right? Slowly remembering the game. That's good. You're a gay, the boss went in there. It's such a big hand right now. Or select. Cut. I don't remember if this deck has a Marnie or not. I don't think it does. That path of you. Yeah. Surprisingly, I've only played one Lugia V Star tonight. Alright, well, we're going to definitely play Capture Energy, right? I just gotta keep playing Energies. This goes to the bench, right? Or do I want. Probably I might Poke Gear first. Let's see what I get. There's, there's another Alistair. So, and then we play the Alistair here. Discard. It's any energy, right? Yeah, just three energy cards. We discard at least that, right? I get Hyper Potion here. Oh, yeah. So I could discard this and then play capture energy. So I think just this. Just so we can play the capture now. Let's see. Cause then in theory, cause can I kill this now? I wish it told me like how much damage. So what? The 10, then an extra 30. So we got 40, 70. That's only 100. Sadly, that doesn't kill it here. So I might just Hyper Potion this turn here. Did I lose all my energy? Two, at least two energies. Okay. So I think this turn here, I'm going to Hyper Potion. And then discard not the power energy or whatever it's called. 
Oh, I could have killed it because I had this thing. God, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> eh, that's all right. I could have killed it because of that. That's right. I do extra damage for what? I always forget. Just each energy. Okay. I guess in theory, I could have killed it this turn. I really want to cape a toughness. So I think as much as I don't want a professor's research, we might research this turn. I would like to get a cape of toughness. Okay, what's your V star do? Take another turn after this one. You do 220 damage and then you do another turn. Damn. Okay. We're going all in on that. I guess this thing is what? Yes, so he used his V power. And then he gets to go again. Well, th okay, there's the toughness. So, I probably will. That's a cool crowbat V. Like, what do I want to do this turn here? Yeah, V star power, yeah. Training corp. This is just basic energy, right? He's training. Okay, basic energy from the discard pile to our hand. Okay. So we don't draw on anything. At least I could use that to bring a psychic energy back. What the hell is this thing's first attack do? Attack does 40 more damage for each steel type energy card attached to this card. Okay, so this is dead here. Okay, so we got at least training court into the psychic energy if we need to. Okay. There's Alistair. Definitely playing Cape of Toughness. I should probably play a crushing this turn, right? We get it. Probably on this and do the... Steel. I guess it just forces them to play another energy, right? So I can training court. So I think first we do Alistair, right? We do Alistair. Okay. So we definitely play in this. So we discard this. And then that's it. Then we played this. There's no reason to play training core because I, I could just put the psychic back on for now. And then we got this heal too, which is really nice. <sighs> That's gonna do what? Breach steel energy. We got the lucky pops. I don't think I wanna put the other blissy for now, just so they won't gust me and screw me over. I guess was just blissful blast and uh, power lucky psychic. The reason we play the psychic energy is just for uh, suspicious food tin. Another way to heal. Yeah, 300 HP when I have Cape of Toughness on. Cape of Toughness, that's rotating out, isn't it? Yep. They have one card left in their deck. Did we just win because they duck out? So they have to do 300 damage this turn, right? We just win. Yeah, they. I think they accidentally decked themselves. Unless there's something I don't know that's going to happen here. Because they already used their V-Star. Or is, that, or is this going to do 300 damage? So should I have played this? 40 more for each. But no, they had to play the, the energy, right? Yeah, so I think they accidentally decked themselves out. Yeah, so we just we just win the game. Yeah, they can't draw, right? Yeah, I think they decked themselves out. Yay, we finally won the Blissey. <laughs> yeah, once you can get Blissey going, it's a fun deck, but sometimes it can be kind of a struggle. Yeah, they decked out. I feel like they weren't paying attention. I don't know if they needed to do all that crazy draw or what. Woohoo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Watching me be terrible at the Pokemon trading card game. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. 
Uh, so for people that are new to the channel, uh, I usually play a variety of video games, a lot of Nintendo Switch stuff. That's usually what I play. We've been playing some PC stuff lately. I usually don't play this game. This is like the one off night where I'm actually playing this game. Yeah, a lot of Nintendo stuff. I do like to play Scarlet and Violet. I like competitive VGC. I do play that way more than the TCG. Which we might play some of that later today. The heads. I lost the coin flip. Damn. Yeah, I played Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, just a lot, a lot of, usually Nintendo stuff I usually play on the channel. All right, at least we got this right away. All right, we got Lucky Energy. We got stuff. But now can I get some draw supporters? <laughs> or just something that'll let me draw. Okay. Are these the beta sleeves? I always forget which ones are the beta sleeves. Ico V. Once you're in the active spot, you may draw a card. Yay, battle VIP pass. Yay, my favorite card. That's not getting, that's not right. Rip, that's not getting rotated. Card's dumb. What's this card? Uh, Palkia V. And attack. Palkia V might be good, right? Because we're talking about earlier, there's that new Bax Caliber where it's like the old Blastoise Deluge card from, I don't know what set that was. So when, Scar or when Scarlet Violet's out, uh, Palkia could be potentially good. Or just water decks in general, which is probably what I would like to try and make. Do they not have Suicune? Maybe they, they just have Raikou in this just as uh, something for uh, Lugia. All right. No energies. Okay. All right. So we got this. Okay. Yeah. Only if you discard two other cards from your hand. Draw a card for each opponent's. Okay. So what we do is we play, I think, Lucky Energy. And then Xenia's Resolve. And we discard this. And I think one of these, because I would like to keep these to fuck them over. So here I have to discard two cards. Well, I guess I'm probably going to play Path to the Peak, right? Just so they can't uh, keep drawing. I, I think we're getting effed over. We're not getting the energies that I need. Well, I can do Blissful Blast. E40. Get a capture energy. All right, so we're doing, what, 70 right now? Trekking shoot. Discard a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon and discard it. Stadium and play. Many of these. Okay, well, they can't play that now because of Path. And a Marnie. Which is actually insanely good for me because I need that Marnie. You want to give me a what, powerful energy or whatever it's called? Power energy? Okay, well, we got this. So we can at least play this and get potentially some more energies. They just forfeited. Did they have nothing for Path to the Peak? Yo, let's go. All right. That's two games in a row we won. Let's go. Two win streak. <laughs> I love Blissey. All right. Give me something very good in the chest, please. I have to go open it, don't I? Let's go to Collection. So as far as I know, the treasure chests don't transfer the Pokemon live to TCG live. Yo, look at this amazing card we got. Hell yeah. That's amazing. Fantastic. That's fine. Lissy V. Time is at 4.30 in the morning. I'm glad I decided to play this. this is, I'm having a good time. I actually do pretty good better than i thought we would i think i've actually won more games than lost tonight <laughs> which i think is pretty funny because i'm basically playing decks from fusion strike and i have no none of the newer cards in this on these decks tails i lost the coin flip. 
Let me go second. Yay. <laughs> Nobody knows, but come on, Blissey on, man. All right, how many mulligans do we have to do? How many mulligans? Okay. Uh, some kind of dark deck. All right. Mm. Some kind of dark deck. All right. All right, so how many mulligans? Let's go. Okay, two. That's not bad. All right, we got lucky. We got lucky, my fellow gamers. All right. Probably play lucky here. Ultras. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may attach up the two dark energy cards from your hand to the discard pile. What's this do? Best energy cards attached to Pokemon provide one colorless energy and have no other effect. Okay, so we definitely would like to have to get rid of this. Because we can still use the ability, which is nice. Natural Cure and Blissful Blast. But I would like to have uh, my stuff do stuff. My stuff do stuff. But I think we're going to play Lucky here. Or no. I think we play... I'll have to discard first. I guess we play this first then, right? And then I think we're discard fan of waves and then capture energy. Okay, we have power energy. Like I said, none of these do anything right now with temple, right? So I might have to research the next turn. So I think right now I'm just gonna do, well, I guess this does nothing, right? I think we're gonna put this here. Yeah, so this won't get, yeah, yeah, no. I think Luke is still doing stuff. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to research next turn. Ultras V. So I've always kind of wanted to try a, a Galarian Ultras V deck. I don't know how good it is, like now in the current meta, but that's a deck I've always wanted to try out. Yeah, yeah, Galarian Ultras V. I've always wanted to try. I always wanted to try a uh, Calyrex Ice Rider deck. All the decks I always kind of wanted to try, at least last year. I don't know how good they are now. But who cares, right? If I really cared about winning, I would probably just make a Lugia V-Star deck, right? All right. So we want to get rid of this. I'm definitely going to have to be playing this next turn. So, yep. 190 damage. That's, that's sad. Uh, yeah, we're going to research. Do I play energy first? I guess we might as well, right? So we can do extra damage here. And then I research. Or path to the peak. I did not get path to the peak. Because they're going to do, what, 190 damage? And then with choice belt. Yeah, so we stay alive. Okay, so I think we're just going to swing and keep trucking. Blissful Blast. We're doing a hundo damage. And then we get a lucky energy. So we'll play Alistair next turn here, right? Ooh, there's Cape. We want that. We'll probably play, what, attach this? I want to get rid of this. Yeah, we got to get rid of this. Oh, I just straight up win again. <laughs> Draw nothing. Does nobody like Blissey? <laughs> Is Blissey the ultimate troll deck? I've won the last two games because they forfeit. Well, the last guy I won. One forfeit. I think one guy drew himself out and another forfeit, right? Let's go. Oh, we get a pack. Yo, let's get a Pokemon pack. Let's get Silver Tempest, right? All right, let's go. Let's see if we get a Lugia. All right, what we get? All right, give me something good. What do you do? Look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal any number of water Pokemon and water energy cards you find there and put them into your hand. That might be good with uh, the new Bax Calibur, right? So in water decks, that might be really good now. 
Well, that is actually a good card for Lugia, so we actually got Archeon. That is actually a good card. I'll take it. All right. Um, I guess we'll see. What time is it? I'll keep playing. It's the weekend. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised these decks are actually do fairly well for being a Fusion Strike era decks. <laughs> like I said, there's that uh that what's that card called? Uh, it's V, some V guard or something. Right? Energy don't own. It's like V something. Yeah, V-Guard energy. As long as this card's attached to a Pokemon, it provides a colorless energy. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks your Pokemon to B. Sadly, I don't have any of these. But I think this actually would be pretty good in a Blissey deck now. To have at least one of these. Well, it'd be good. Yeah, I was going to say, I should try. Because like I said, because my Zacian deck is just going to go away because of rotation. So this would be good in the Blissey deck. All right, should we try Blissey again? Oh, I don't want to do this. I'm... <laughs> so uh, with Pokemon TCGO, since this is going to be retired, I never did any of this. I don't think I did any of this. Yeah, I did none of this. So all these cool energy, all these decks and stuff. Rip. Uh, Blissey V, let's go. All right. Mew, probably. All right. Uh, go first. Uh, shit, because it's Mew, right? I'm gonna still say no, but this is probably not a good idea, right? Yeah, we got Blissey. Oh my god, five mulligans. <laughs> well, we got a cape here. We got Alistair here. Because I think I want to go second. Cause, I think I want to go second with this deck just so I can attack turn one. Hopefully, just get like a bajillion energies. Yeah, so it is. Yeah, there's a pass. I guess the one deck I might want to go first against probably would be this deck, right? Path, man, I need path, right? Please get tails. Heads. They discarded one of their power. Pa oh God, I'm a VIP path. Good. Okay. We got some heels in the hand. We got a cape of toughness in the hand. They got a choice belt. Okay. What is this? Double turbo, do 20 left. So if I put this on uh, Blissey, I get two different energies, right? So I'll do 20 less damage, but then I basically, what? Do 30? So I do, what, 40 extra damage, right? All right, we're playing Cape. And then Alistair. Please give me some energies. We only literally got one. Uh, shit. Well, we're going to discard probably the poisonous food tin. This is an awful hand. This is terrible. Wow, this is really, this is shitty, dude. This sucks. But terrible hand. 60 damage. Let's go. Rip no energy, dude. Where's my path to the peak?
Hey, it's like I'm playing Fusion Strike all over again. Another ball, what's this do? Search your deck for a Pokemon that has a no retreat cost reveal and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Fusion Strike system. Mario, thank you. I actually needed that. Now there's a supporter for the turn. The morning is getting rotated out. All right. All right, there's path. All right, we're in there. And we got Professor's Research. So, that's good. so I will probably play Powerful Energy. Oh, I should play. Oh, fuck. I should probably play this, right? Get rid of one of their double turbos. Probably the double turbo, I guess, on this. I guess they both have belts, right? Fudge. Hey, I still think I research, right? I just need more energies. But then we can stop, I guess, one Mew, but that doesn't really help, does it? It's not like I'm going to kill this anyways, right? So I think Flanary might actually be the way to go, right? Oh, no, yeah. So I think we play Flanary, right? At 220 damage, fuck. I need to heal. So now I need to heal. Because I could play this, but stall. What? I think I have to play Path. And then I think I'm going to research. I need to heal right now. We could play this. Oh, we might get another energy though. Because I, I might need to play the suspicious food tent, right? So we have another one. I think we research. Okay. Alright. So we. So I need two energies here to heal. Well, I could heal 120, but that'll, that'll stall me what? I need to. 210 Techno Blast. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack, but then they could just free retreat, right? Fuck. Well, I guess we might just have to play capture. I need another Blissey, right? Still 120. I'll put, yeah, so I hear 120. That'll be on 200, right? So then they could still technically kill me here. I think that's probably not worth it. Because they have free retreat, because they're just going to retreat into this and then attack again, and I just die. The hyper potion here is not worth it. That I see. I think we just do Blissful Blast, right? Next, and then I'll just retreat. I want to know why they give this no retreat cost. This makes this card so bonkers. I think a better way to balance it would have been just to give at least one. We can heal here. Definitely have to play this, right? Or this, probably this. So we need to at least keep attacking, right? Also, would like another cape. Okay, thank God. Get that. Yes, and they just retreat. It's like, God, this card says so stupid. Techno blast. Oh, they did some other attack, I think, not techno blast. Oh, because you can copy Max Miracle. This Pokemon damage is affected by any effects your opponent's Pokemon. Well, I guess we can fan. 
I guess I should fan this, right? Because then that could force him to switch into this. I guess we'll go ahead and just fan this. Because they switch into this, I'll just have damage on that. Ah, uh, we poke a gear. Yeah, we got to research. Is that the discard? Two cards here. Draw a card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Four, five, six. Or just research. But it'd be nice to keep the Hyper Potion, right? Play this and then discard these two. So let me keep the Hyper Potion. Okay. Crushing Hammer, which is always a fantastic. Don't get it. I'm going to play it again. Come on, video game. Well, we have a Suspicious Food 10. I think we play this first, right? And then attack. And then I can play Capture next turn, right? I don't want them to gust me at the moment. I think we just play this. Power, power, and then go. Okay. Yep. Okay. Power ten. So I think they're just playing these just so they get technical blast, right? They're looking for what's out. Oh. Okay. I d okay. So that actually works a little different. I thought maybe uh, that only works on the Pokemon that's in the active spot. Rip. Well, I should have played the capture. Some bitch. What time is it now? Um... Maybe like one or two more. Let's go back to the Zashian deck since this is a deck that's going to be rotated out. Because Blissey V is going to stay around. So I can at least, whatever Pokemon live, whenever I change over to that, I can at least keep using this deck. This I can't. All right, let's go to the Zashian. Play a deck or two, or a game or two, they probably call it. Ooh. No cards. Unfortunate. All right. Unfortunate. Well, I guess we're playing Zombie Zones. Huh? Zombie Zones V. It's another Lunatone deck. Battle VIP pass. Against this deck, Zamazenta actually would be the better card to, to go for with, right? Because I could just one shot everything. They have all four of their Soul Rocks out right now. Like I said, I might just go. There's crystal caves, yeah. It's dragon and steel, so we could take advantage of this. But I might. We probably just quick ball, right? I'm probably just gonna quick ball into a um, a Zacian. so we can get some cards drawn, right? Okay, so we gotta remember. I only have two Zamazentas in the deck now. The other one's prized. I'll just do this. Do this. I don't think we want to do anything else this turn. I'm just going to intrepid. 
You got one. There's a cape of toughness, which is nice. Hmm. What do I want to do next turn? In theory, I could probably potentially start swinging next turn. I need to start playing capes. Oh, they did that. Whatever it was. Discard a card from your hand and then draw three cards. All right, so I can start. Well, I guess we need a switch, right? Zashian's going to be my go-to, right? Marnie or I think I want a Marnie. I guess we probably could play the cave. Well, there's our balloon there, so. Probably should have played the cave. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, well, we gotta start swinging, right? I try my best to just keep attacking, right? There's the other Zamazenta. I think I should probably charge this. At least we can get up to two energies this turn on this, right? I could play a Zamazenta, attach, and do Metal Saucer on it. Cause uh, yeah, we're gonna need Zamazenta in this deck, in this game. That'd be so much easier for me. Just so I don't have to keep bouncing around with Zacian. So what I might do is what? Play Zamazenta, Saucer, Attach Energy, and then probably just Intrepid. And don't attach any energies. I think that's going to be my best play. Wrecking Shoes. Choice belt. Bruno, shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw four. If they knocked out last turn, draw seven. They will draw salmon cards. All right, what's Poke Ghost style? What the fuck does this do? Once during each player's turn, that player may discard the three cards from the top of their deck. If a player discarded any items cards this way, put those item cards into their hand. I guess that could be kind of good in the Blissey deck. Don't get energies in the discard faster. I did 180, rip. We're playing this. All right, well, we're going to do exactly what I planned on doing. Attach. I can't saucer yet. That's fine. And quick ball into a... Um, I think I'm going to discard boss. Right? I think I'm going to go into crawl back here. Caves. I'm gonna play that just so we get rid of that. Meal. Okay. Got another saucer this turn, but I don't. 120 damage. Okay, I think we might just intrepid here. In a weird way, I guess I could. So we discard two. If I had another energy, I guess I could attack with Zashi in this turn, but I don't. Not already attached this turn, so. I think I'm just going to Intrepid here. If I get any energies, I say don't. There's another Saucer. Nice. Yeah, we want the Zamazentas. Or, yeah, Zamazenta is what we want. So at least we can attack next turn with Zamazenta. I think the boss is Amazenta, though. The one with the cape. Oh, they just attack, okay. So we bring the air balloons Amazenta first. And then we saucer, saucer, right? Saucer, saucer. 
So I gotta kill this, and then we can boss and kill that next turn. We retreat into this. I wish I had some more energies, though, but I don't. I really don't want to research right now. I guess we just attack with this and... Yeah, that's two of those in the discard pile. I'm going to assume they probably rock four in the deck. There's a Marnie. But we definitely got to keep attacking the Lunatones. These things are annoying too, though. So they might be looking for another Lunatone. So we can knock this out. Oh, there's Mill Tank. Well, I guess we could play around the Mill Tank. We've taken enough prize cards where we can actually try and play around it. This won't kill me, but it's going to do a shitload of damage. We have Crystal Caves to heal Whopping 30. that do 210 damage oh, okay we heal here i think we just kill this right i need to start powering up another zamazenta though so we're gonna quick ball and probably discard this escape rope i don't think we only even want zashian for the rest of this game do we Need energies. So right now we're just kind of thinning the deck out. Uh, I'm so tempted to actually just probably play Marnie here. I just want energies right now. Okay, that's sweet. Then we can play a saucer here on that. Patch that. Crushing hammer on right now is pointless. So we attack. That's three of the Lunatones in the discard pile. Switch. Yep. Okay, stop. Because right now, they need the Lunatones, don't they? They get to start attacking this. Attack does 20 more damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Okay. Research. Yeah, they're looking for the other Lunatone, right? How do they scoop up not that? They probably have a reason. I'll oh, shuffle your hand into your deck. Okay, so they put Bruno back in the deck. They must be trying to get a Bruno right now. Okay, so they're stalling a turn here, so we get a turn. Unfortunately, it's a shitty turn. Play discards any item cards this way. What item cards would I want right now? I don't think nothing. So I can't do anything this turn. Except attach this. What a, so I just need draw. I think that Marnie might be fucking me over more than anything. So I think we're just gonna have to pass this turn. I can't really do anything. Because Crushing Hammer is really kind of pointless. Unless I had a Crowbat, which I don't. I, were, I think we're just gonna pass. I can't do anything. Because of its ability. Okay. So I need my Darren Boss's Warriors. Probably should have swapped, right? Rip. Probably why I should have done a switch into the Crobat. There's the other Lunatone. Okay, 
I, I need, man, I need bosses or. Her research shit that's terrible i can't do it i think we'd switch into this right now we're just kind of waiting i guess because this only works on lunatone so i guess i could stall by playing crashing here come on i don't want to play this because i don't want to discard item cards is going to the hand I think I'm just going to play Switch into the Crowbat and just stall for a bit. So I think we're going to switch into the Crowbat and just stall. I just don't want to Poke Stop and get something I don't want. I'd love to get research. That'd be amazing right now. Time is at 5.02. I should probably stop after this game. Well, there's their boss, damn. Where's my boss? I want my boss's orders. Uh, We probably just bring the crowbat, right? I don't want Zombies Vento to get hurt. Oh, my fucking God, dude. Because I don't want a pokey stop. Discard top three cards of their deck. Any item cards that way. And put those into their hand. <sighs> Fuck, dude. They're just drawing jack shit right now. This boss. Cause how many bosses in this deck? I have like three, I think. Yeah, they discarded the research. I guess trekking shoes. And they have scoop up net. Okay, now they're just going to scoop up net. Did they just win the game now? I think that scoop up now. They probably just scoop this up, bring Lunatone, and just attach, attach, attach. Okay, they just are seven. I think they're just a win. GG, this should kill me. Oh, they're just, okay, well, this probably kills me anyway, so. Yeah, it doesn't matter. How much does this do? 300 damage, fuck. This is a cool deck, though, I like it. Damn, I wish I knew what my next card was. All right, I think we're gonna call it there. It's five in the morning. That was a lot of fun, though. We might play this again here soon. Because when does, um... So what Scarlet and Violet base set, that's not out until what the 31st, right? So I was probably just gonna keep playing this game until base set is out, right? And then that's probably when everybody's gonna move over to live. That'd make the most sense, right? So Alright, well that's fun though. We might play this one more time or maybe a few more times before uh everybody has to go to live, so but that's gonna do for me. It's five in the morning. I need to stop playing there. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was fun, though. Had fun. I think we won more games than we lost, so we'll take that, I guess, with my crappy deck. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you're new to the channel and if you'd like on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. Everything I do on the Twitch channel goes over to the YouTube. There's also sometimes some exclusive YouTube content as well. So don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I would greatly appreciate it if you did that. You can also follow the Twitch channel. And for both of them, turn on notifications so you know when I'm live on Twitch or new videos are out on YouTube. That's going to do for me, everybody. It is the weekend, so I know we might play more of this. We'll see. But I do want to play some more Scarlet and Violet here this weekend. Sometime this weekend, we'll play some of that. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Take it easy, and I will catch you next time. Have a good one.